Hello, my star seeds, and welcome to Star Seed Direct Tarot. This is your resident star seed here, Honey Gaia. And I do apologize for the delay and the in the upload of the Aries Angel Energy Reading. We had some equipment malfunctions throughout the week, and I am currently um, reloading my systems uh, software. So we are waiting for our new equipment to come in. In the meantime, I'm going to upload a All Signs May preview. Okay. So we're just going to get into it. I hope everyone enjoyed their week. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And to my return star seeds, thank you so much for your energetic love, light, and support. Aries. Aries, you will be reaching a very large pivotal point in your healing journey. This may also symbolize you um, coming into your own or reaching a peak in your career in the month of May. I'm also getting success. I don't know if you're working on a project or working on something that is a deliverable, possibly a new direction. You will be reaching success in whatever this new direction is. Um, you could also be dealing with either an Aquarius or a Cancer, but the outlook looks positive. Or a Taurus. The energies are being clarified by the King of Pentacles, so it's looking real good for May, Aries. Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus. I hope you are enjoying your season so far. Let's see what's in store for you for the month of May. We have Judgment. The Magician. And the Ten of Cups, you may be um, coming to some kind of spirit-led opportunity. I'm also getting manifestation here. You may be being guided spiritually um, in something you've been trying to manifest. And ultimately, it's going to come out very positive with the Ten of Cups. That's the Happily Ever After card. You, whatever you're trying to manifest will be successful this month, Taurus. Just stay focused and in the light. Gemini. Gemini, you have the Two of Wands, Temperance, and Justice. In the month of May, Gemini, you will be making a clear and precise decision, possibly on the next direction to take. Something that you've been very patient on building upon. Um, and the outcome is crowned by justice. So this may be something legally that is developing or the outcome is balancing the scales in the matter of what you have been working on or building. I'm also sensing um, completion or a, uh, a roundabout. I don't know, I'm hearing roundabout. Um, taking bits and pieces of the puzzle piece and finally placing them in place. Um, I'm also getting global. Something in regards to something internationally, perhaps.
Cancer. Cancer, whatever it is that you're working on, you're watching it very closely. You're also mustering up the courage to face the unknown. You may also be completing some kind of uh, karmic debt or karmic journey in regards to whatever this new perspective is. Um, and you may be emotionally guided to be lead, uh, led in this new direction. I'm also getting there may be a proposal. Um, you may be preparing... I'm, I'm literally hearing, uh, preparing, preparing for the date, whatever that means. <laughs> the outcome is the Ten of Cups, Cancer. So whatever this is that you're working on, if you're worried or emotionally unsure whether it, the outcome is going to be good... Spirit says yes, so stay focused and determined on whatever it is you're working on. I'm also hearing, um, so what if someone else is coming out with something similar or whatever this idea was that you were unsure about, Spirit is re-encouraging you to just build on it because can't nobody do it like you, Cancer. Leo. Leo. The divine may be intervening in the month of May for you also in regards to a fated opportunity or event. This also symbolizes the wheel turning in your favor, but just keep in mind the wheel is always turning. So... Whatever this opportunity is that's coming in in May, um, it's going to be divinely revealed to you, but you need to use discernment on the best way to execute said idea, Leo. The outcome is the Page of Pentacles. Perhaps stepping forward, fate might bring an opportunity for you, Leo, that you want to showcase whatever your talent or idea is in regards to the set opportunity and it may result in an offer okay possibly financial with the wheel of fortune and page of pentacles i'm also getting leo in the month of may you went you may want to play the lottery libra Libra, it looks like love is in the cards for you for the month of May. You may be feeling very romantic or you may have reason to celebrate a romantic connection. However, this could be read two ways. Either you fought hard to keep this romance um, yours. I'm also getting some kind of fight for commitment on some kind of accord. You also may be fighting away other suitors coming in if you're already in a relationship whatever this alludes to let's see okay so libra you may be fighting the transformation of a connection you may also be fighting uh an ending to whatever this connection is with the symbolization of the knight of cups and then death I'm literally getting like, it's a done data, Libra. Um, or this may be transforming the relationship or fighting uh, to transform the relationship into something more committed. Fighting emotions of transforming something, Libra. Whether it's your partner your relationship or outlook on relationships or emotions in general. This may also be in regards to some kind of a 
transformation you may want to take in your life personally that may make your relationship better. Virgo. Virgo, for the month of May, you may be facing some truths this month. Um, you may be trying to protect yourself from some kind of legal matter. I'm also um, hearing... I'm literally hearing Virgo exhibit A. So I don't know what that alludes to. You may be trying to protect someone or yourself from being incriminated about something. Um, I'm also getting with the King of Swords. This may speak of an authority figure, a, a figure, an attorney, or something in regards to um, the facts. I'm also hearing facts only. What is the outcome? Eight of Swords, clarifying the Eight of Swords, clarifying King of Swords. Somebody's going to jail, Virgo. You tell me if that's you or someone else that's involved. But whatever this legal situation is, Virgo, it's not looking good. For the month of May, you may want to fully focus your thoughts on lessening the sentence. It looks like either way, you're going to have to pay to play Scorpio Scorpio for the month of May you may be feeling um Bombarded by quick judgment or there may be fast and um, undelicate, <laughs> un, I'm hearing from spirit, undelicately delivered communication coming in possibly from an empress. Um, this may take you aback. This may um, surprise you. This communication may also uh, rock your stability as far as mentally, emotionally. Um, because it's going to make you reflect. Okay? Reflect. This could be some harsh words possibly coming from a mother figure or a wife. If you are female, this could be a sister or someone of high regard in your life that you look up to. A nurturing figure. Someone may be coming in with quick advice in regards to something. And the outcome, Scorpio, is it's going to leave you <clears throat> confused as to which direction to take next in this situation possibly opening up some options for you in regards to how to handle this matter. I'm literally hearing public relations. This may be something that you want to delve deeper into looking into because May is going to be significant for reputation. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you may be feeling an overabound, uh, overabundant amount of emotions or love, possibly from just loving life. I'm literally hearing um, Moment for Life by Nicki Minaj. This new direction in whatever you're working on in May, um, it's going to be received well. I'm also getting, it's something you love to do, but you're taking it to a new level, whatever it is. I'm also getting that um, 
a cancer may be involved in whatever this is, Sagittarius. And um, they may be expressing to you how much they care and love you. You may be receiving love in this new direction. Or you may be in control of your emotions. This could be read several ways. It's going to be something that brings passion to you. It's going to spark passion. With two aces in the month of May, um, I'm also hearing you need to control your emotions. There's going to be something that emotionally unravels for you in the month of May, Sagittarius, that um, the divine is going to be assisting you in balancing and navigating through. Um, this could be a hard one, one victory. This could also be something that sparks your passion and your love for something that is going to give you a new idea or direction to go into. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Capricorn. Capricorn. You may be experiencing some heartache from a past connection, and this may be revisited emotions for you. This may be because in the month of May, you have memories of this person, um, and it may bring up some old pain that you experienced in the past. Could be dealing with an air sign or water sign. I'm also getting that... Um, you're heartbroken about an ex, Capricorn. And it's making you think about the past a lot. Whatever this is in the month of May, Capricorn, you want to try not to focus too much on what you're sad about. You may be missing, someone may have also passed away with the Six of Cups. This could be someone from a past life. Or a sibling or take what resonates I'm getting grief energy very very significant here Capricorn you may have lost someone or you may find out that someone in your family is passing away this month but ultimately um my condolences to you Capricorn you may be looking at past memories of you and this person and um, unleashing this emotions um, I'm also getting, yes, with the pentacles here and cups, you may be looking back at better times with whoever this person was that you shared these memories with. Aquarius. Aquarius, in the month of May, you may be divinely guided away from toxic behavior or betrayal or it's a lot of sword energy. So you may be guided in a new direction in regards to some kind of uh, situation that you have been quiet about. You may be taking a break or going into hermit mode, sol solitude to uh, swords or thoughts. So you may be going in solitude to handle some business in regards to some kind of uh, Something in regards to betrayal or moving away from some kind of toxic behavior. I'm also getting, um, you may be plotting something that you won't be able to achieve if you're in the forefront. I'm also getting there may be some kind of, with the child here, you may be hiding a secret, um, and you don't want it illuminated. But in the month of May, you will be going in shroud mode to handle some kind of situation here in regards to foul play. 
or maybe trying to avoid avoid I'm hearing damage control Pisces Pisces, you may be led by divine um, to move away from whatever emotionally doesn't satisfy you. Um, you may have been proposed to or whatever opportunities that are coming in for you in the month of May in regards to love just aren't satisfying you. And you're realizing now that if you keep entertaining things that don't satisfy you, you're never going to be satisfied. So you may be being divinely led to move away from things that don't satisfy you so that you can energetically make space for something that will. And if you do so, it may work in your favor. It may bring in an opportunity for you to um, generate abundance. Perhaps <laughs> I'm hearing... Uh, money over everything Moet. you may be coming into the realization in may pisces that you have been more focused on personal relationships and it's been draining your finances i'm also getting there may be a pisces here that is trying to move away from being emotionally unbalanced to focus on finances um, but there is going to be an opportunity that comes out of this once you balance your energy out, Pisces. Okay. That concludes your All Signs May preview. And until next time, Starseeds, thanks for stopping by.